The Tata Nexon has been a runaway success for the Indian car maker ever since its market debut in September 2017. It came at a time when the company was on a major turnaround curve with the likes of the Tiago hatchback, the Tigor subcompact sedan and the seven-seater SUV Hexa proving to be very popular. And Tata also needed that one solid car that wouldn't just be a volumes driver but showcase its global standards of design and engineering. The Nexon was that car a benchmark setup and an image maker. The car did create a new benchmark in the compact SUV category with its revolutionary coupe-inspired design, which had already wowed people when it was shown as a concept. But the production car also boasted a powerful engine segment-first multi-drive modes and floating touchscreen infotainment. It also had segment-leading ground clearance, ride and handling. It was young, it was cool, it was funky and most importantly, extremely desirable. For Nexon was brief and simple, to take the customer's aspirations to the next level. Nexon is a winning product, a real game-changer for Tata Motors. It ticks all the right boxes on design with its confident road presence and unbeatable package of robust build and superior performance, it truly is an owner's delight. The Nexon's styling in particular was the real trendsetter, winning virtually every design award in the Indian auto industry. And including its other wins, it bagged a total of 18 trophies in 2018. It was also one of the most popular cars at the 2018 Delhi Auto Expo. The coupe roofline was actually to break the box, if I'm very, uh, being very literal. Uh, all the, the competition in this segment was extremely boxy. In fact, they are kind of scaled down versions of their larger SUVs. Uh, we stayed away from that route. I think, uh, you know, there was an opportunity to do something fresh. We had no legacy in this segment to, you know, no baggage really. So uh, we thought the coupe roof line would be something we would like to try. We clinicked it we sh internally and externally, and it did extremely well. It's one of the few clinics I actually agreed with. And uh, you know, like, like they say, the rest is, uh, is history in a way. In May 2018, Tata announced the much anticipated AMT or hyperdrive variant of the Nexon. With it came a new body color, the striking Etna Orange. And along with that, there was a whole host of customization options offered, including some body kits, that gave the car a further styling edge. We've uh, put in two new engines um, with six-speed gearboxes to deliver best-in-class performance, best-in-class infotainment. The interiors are, again, I don't think any other ca car in that uh, segment has that kind of interior. So it's a combination of all three. Six months down the line after launch, we launched uh, the AMT, Hyperdrive AMT, uh, which is on um, you know, both petrol and diesel. The Nexon even added to its already generous interior feature list by adding Apple CarPlay along with the existing Android Auto and a new XZ variant to offer more choice, something consumers loved. But even as the car kept gaining sales momentum, with average sales of 4,500 units a month, there was more to come, and there was more in store from Tata Motors. More that people still didn't know. The idea was that the safety cannot be the prerogative of only the bigger cars or the bigger vehicles. And therefore, how much we can improve the safety performance, starting with the subcompact cars, the, uh, the subcompact, uh, the, uh, the sedans, and then going to the uh, sort of uh, the compact uh, SUV like Nexon. So we wanted to bring those features which are there in the upmarket vehicles and how we can actually incorporate them into these kind of a compact vehicles. And the compact vehicles is the hallmark of the Indian, let us say, the car uh, uh, buyers. So therefore we wanted to keep that aspect in mind and therefore design the platform, design the structure, design the chassis system in such a manner that we are actually able to put everything together and utilize and leverage the in-house competence that we have developed over the decades to actually bring it to, to the light of the day. But what did that really mean for the car? And more importantly, what did it mean for the consumer and for the market? 
keep watching our special series on this sporty little SUV to find out.